This is my nightmare zone. Okay. It's horrible, isn't it? Really horrible. I think my next job will be to tackle this cupboard. This, by the way, is where we keep a load of our mugs. We do have a thing for mugs. What do you do with all your Disney mugs? Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and I'm about to share my really embarrassing secret with you. I have a very messy corner in my kitchen. I hate it, it drives me mad. I keep talking about tackling it, decluttering it, cleaning, organizing it and it always seems to be at the bottom of my list and it never gets done. I always think it's going to take me hours and as I feel I never have hours to do it, it's just being left all the time. I do bits and pieces but I never properly tackle it so I'm going to do that this afternoon. We do have some cupboards that I can reorganise which will help with the space. Um, I'll show you in a sec but we don't use the back door, we've got double doors in the lounge, we don't tend to use this door so it just we kind of use it as a storage space which is really wrong because we can't use the door even if we wanted to we don't have a garage anymore because that was converted years ago into my my craft studio my work office so we do have a problem with limited storage in this house and it's become the storage area back there when i first this used to be i used to have just a very tiny galley kitchen years ago this was like almost like um just a separate room we used it as an office um, but then we kind of turned it more into like a laundry area but I used this whole space here as my baking area and over the years it's just become a clutter zone and I really hate it so I want to get back this space again a space that makes me happy and not ashamed to use when I walk through with my camera or sometimes I have to move the camera because I don't want people to see behind it it's embarrassing I hate it and it's not how I wish to have my kitchen and I need to change it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Give me a thumbs up if you love a declutter and organize video. Let me know also if you have a space in your house that you keep meaning to declutter and organize. And like me, it always gets left to the bottom of your list because you think it's gonna take you hours. Let's see today how long it actually takes. It's currently quarter to three in the afternoon. We'll see how long it really takes. So let me show you the space. I've been moaning about it for so long. So Aid has actually cleared out some stuff already. I had some paints down here that have been cleared away. I had some roller trays, paint brushes, and a few bits and pieces. Um, I've got, these are actually DVDs in boxes that I've been meaning to send off to Music Magpie. I'm gonna use these boxes today to declutter this was actually from a declutter um, I did a while ago in the drawers in the lounge. We've got dog food, bin liners, I don't know what's in that envelope. And this is all stuff that does not belong in the kitchen. So I'm going to go through that as well. I'd like to reorganise this cupboard because there's lots of space that can be used. For example, I've got loads of empty Starbucks bean there boxes that we don't use. I've got a bath and body works area and a lot of this stuff down here. I'm quite happy for detergents and things to stay. A lot of the stuff at the back, when I decluttered this several months ago, I hadn't actually used it for years. So I still haven't used it. We'll go through today and we'll see what we can actually get shot of. This is my nightmare zone. I decluttered loads of cookbooks quite some time ago. They were like all the way along. So they're much better. I need to do something with all these Disney mugs. I don't quite know what. Um, they're left over from Christmas, so I can put in those. This is supposed to be the bread basket, but um, now that our kids are older, they buy their own things as well. Holly bought this yesterday. Um, Louis always adding to it as well. Um, so I need to organize that. We've got the fruit stuff. Um, the fruit used to all live in here and then the mugs have kind of taken over alcohol stash which drives me mad we won't even talk about that and then this is my usual baking area here so I need to clean under the toaster because it's very crummy and I want to tidy up this area too and again some of this stuff I've just put this here by the way I've just opened that the drinks things they should actually live in the cupboard not on the top so that is what we're tackling today it's horrible isn't it really horrible 
and then we've got the dog stuff down here as well I don't quite know how I'm going to tidy that up but I would like to not feel ashamed of this space in my kitchen so I've got comfy clothes on baggy t-shirt and a pair of leggings I have just got myself a can of Pepsi and I've lit a really nice wax melt in here as well hopefully that will make life easier I think the first thing I'm going to do is tackle that area. I'm gonna break it down. So even if I get distracted and I don't continue, in, don't continue tidying up, if I've at least done that back door area, I'd be happy with that. I think then I might move to the cupboard and then the work surfaces. So maybe if you're doing a space, decide on your zones and work zone by zone so that if you do get distracted, you don't feel like you have to do the whole job, but work in one area at a time. And each area then that you organize, it's an achievement when you've done it. Another tip, when you're doing any type of decluttering or organizing or tidying and or anything actually, if you're really not wanting to do it or you get that feeling in the middle of when you're doing it and you think, why on earth am I doing this? Remember the feeling that you'll have after you've completed the job. That feeling, that light feeling, that feeling of achievement, and just that nice feeling. I know I will feel so much happier when this kitchen is done, and that's what I need to focus on today, that end result, and how good I'll feel when it's done. I decided straight away to take the two boxes and use those as my places to actually put things to either tidy away or donate afterwards and then I just went through um, everything by the back door just deciding what could actually get um, go in the bin or what I need to keep or rehome that kind of thing and just kind of work in like a methodical order. It's going through things and finding homes and actually seeing what you've got. I've got a box here of cake decorating items. Holly, when she was about 16, went through a phase of doing a lot of cake decorating. I bought her all of these different things. They've never been used. I have a whole box. It's nearly five, six years later. She's not going to use them. She doesn't do cake decorating anymore. I don't. I've never done cake decorating in that way. So I think it's time to give this box away. I was chatting to a friend just yesterday who was talking about starting up a business. They could be perfect. I'll see if she wants them. So it's always nice when you can donate to somebody you know. Got an old IKEA candle here. I've kept it. There's no scent that comes from this at all. It's going to be used in the garden now. I've got some paint, some chalkboard and some a sample I bought. These can go in my paint cupboard in my studio. And then going through here I've got seeds which can go out for the garden. They're aids, and then in here, this is all stuff that aid can go through. We've got old batteries, I've got light bulbs, old candles, which I'm not going to use, so I'm going to let him go through this box. I've also found two sets of these really cute Mickey fairy lights. I've forgotten I had, I will definitely use these somewhere. I have no idea what's in this basket. We've got aids gloves, I've got all oh, poly filler. I've been wanting to buy some of that. I bought that, so I've got that. We've got paint stripper. That can go in the shed, can't it, or in the thingy? That's the heat gun that you've used. It was under one of your desk raises. I know, but it is actually a paint stripper. Okay. And all this is old tiles. We've got cycling gloves. Um, I think this is your stuff, Aid. It's a paintbrush. Barbecue bits. That area is now clear. I think my next job will be to tackle this cupboard. I've got my two boxes. I've got definitely a bin and possibly a donate or maybe one I want to keep. Things like the detergents that are going to stay here, I'm gonna pop to one side. I keep my Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers in there. Aid has a bit of an obsession with travel mugs. We have a lot of travel mugs. Just going through, taking everything out of the cupboard but grouping it together on the floor so I could see exactly what I had, putting all the detergents together, all the mugs together, that kind of thing. I was wondering where that lid went. That goes to a really nice ceramic bowl of mine to go in the microwave to heat up your soup. Maple and whiskey Disney tea lights. 
I think these are pumpkin, no, popcorn scented. This is the kind of thing that I need to throw away every time I clear out this cupboard, I keep all the um, shoe polishing stuff, all the um, like waterproof sprays. We don't use them. They've been in this cupboard for so long. And to be honest, if I needed them, I wouldn't even think that we've got them. So I think it's time to get rid of them. I'm gonna pop them in to one side because at the moment it's a valuable space that we could be using for other things. And now I need to clean out this cupboard. I'm gonna go in with my usual method cleaner. And I think I'm gonna try and break down most of what was in here. I'm gonna keep the detergents to one side, but most of everything else, I'm gonna try and keep in this basket. So keep, just limit the dog stuff that we've got. Um, and I think I just need to limit what is actually going in this cupboard. Next, I'm gonna tackle this shelf because let's face it, as cute as the little Been There series mug boxes are, we don't need them. They are taking up a lot of space. In a house, I've just found some baking paper. In a house where we don't have a lot of storage. Got to be careful not to pull out the mugs that are in there. We've got some, that's my Tennessee mug that we don't have home sport, so I'm gonna be careful to pop those to one side. Aid came over and was helping me with the boxes. He moved them away for me and we were chatting about the mugs. Each mug has a very special memory with them. Um, we just love them so much. They're our real special keepsakes. 11 empty Starbucks mug boxes. And then we've got 11 mugs that aren't on display that are kept in the cupboard. I've also got my small um, Bath and Body Works stash in here. These are, let's see, I've got a Christmas one, that's a frosted coconut. I've got um, peach bellini, pumpkin frost. Oh, I love this one, I forgot I had this. Um, seaside citrus, winter candy apple, marshmallow pumpkin latte. Oh, I love this one as well, crisp morning air. I've got pumpkin pecan waffles. And, oh, I didn't know I had this one. Sparkling, fresh sparkling snow. What does this one smell like? Oh, that one's nice, really light. So these are ones that I keep for the kitchen or these are winter time as well. I've also got the winter ones. I've got a whole load in the downstairs bathroom in the cupboard where I don't use them to the end. So like this one, winter candy apple, there's not actually too much of that left, but I'm not gonna use it in the springtime. So I'll keep it to use in December, sort of November, December time. And then after that, they come out. I've also found some candles. I've got, these are Bath and Body Works, watermelon, lemonade, and pumpkin peak and waffles as well. I've got three of these, I didn't realize. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's the pumpkin peak and waffles. I completely forgot that I had those. That shelf's now empty. I'm gonna clean it out. I am gonna put the Starbucks mugs back in here. A lot of these are really special. We bought them on different trips and there's places that we may not go back to, like Virginia, these are the old style as well. We are wanting to get some better shelves up there for the Starbucks mugs. Um, so until then, they're gonna have to live in this cupboard. Just found the California Adventure mug, that's really nice. I didn't realize I'd stashed it away in here. We've got DC, we've got New York, we've got LA. Got a couple of different Tennessee ones from various different trips. We've got the new one and we've got the old style. Um, got London as well. I don't know why I bought London. I have a question for you What do you do with all your Disney mugs after you've used them? We have loads uh, We've got like Typhoon Lagoon mugs and obviously the refillable mugs. I always wish That we could take them back with us and reuse um, the Typhoon Lagoon refillable ones are really really handy for when you're at the water parks but it's just a shame that you can't do something to reuse them when you go back. So what do you do with yours? 
I think I was going to live in here now rather than on the top. I need to get aid to go through the travel mugs. Um, we have a lot of them for when we used to go and watch Louis play football. He hasn't played football for a long time. We use the Costa ones on a regular basis and he's also got other ones that he likes on the top that he uses on a regular basis. But I don't think we need the other ones so I'm going to speak to him about that. This is the progress of the cupboards. I've now got loads of space taken up with the Disney mugs. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to keep them for the time being there and then decide. We've got Bath and Body Works, mugs, mugs. And then we've got like cleaning products. We've got travel mugs, hand sanitizers. And then this is obviously all the laundry products. This is what we're getting rid of. We're um, gifting some of this or rehoming it. So like the gardening gloves Aid's mum can have. I don't know what I'm doing with the Starbucks mugs yet. Aid said this is his dad's. We've got some rubbish and I need to go through that. And this can be rehomed in the kitchen. We've got candles and I've got some china pieces. I'm now tackling this area. Um, I haven't used these chia seeds for years, so I'm gonna bin those and this can be used for something else. I think I just wanna move everything off and give it a really good clean. to go through things methodically to make it as easy as possible I did find this recipe book that I started when I was about 13 years old um, I'd been looking for it and I thought I'd lost it so I was really really pleased to find it I've actually got a peanut butter recipe from school like I said from when I was 13 and I'd really been wanting to use it so I'm really excited that I found that I think that's one of my favorite things about having a good declutter finding things that you'd forgotten you had Decided. This is now empty that was by the back door. I'm going to put all my Mickey mugs in here and encourage the family to use them. If you're going out in the garden, don't take a glass, take your Mickey mug. They're a little bit insulated as well, so they keep it colder. A just said that he was using the Typhoon Lagoon mugs last year and they really keep them cold. I can use them in my desk. So I'm going to pop them all in here by the back door and almost make a little bit of a cute feature. We've also just been discussing, we've been talking before about changing one of the other cupboards. I think now the kids have got older, we, we're kind of changing our cupboards slightly. We don't need the cupboard with all the bits and pieces for packed lunches um, because they don't go to school anymore. So we've got all the tins where I used to keep like snacks and bits that they could like, uh, brioche that they could just pull out and take, all the treat bits and pieces. We don't need that stuff anymore. Plus I have my larder now, which I never used to have. We're thinking about taking off the kit cupboard doors actually having a bit of a display cupboard and maybe even putting the we've been here mugs from Starbucks there so in which case this frees up loads and loads of space I need to find homes for the alcohol I'm about to do that next I found an empty tin that was sat on the top here I'm gonna put cookie cutters in there now and we use it for that so I'm gonna go through I've got these glass bowls here on the top I don't even make cookie shapes that often, but there's some that I might keep. We've got like an Easter bunny, we've got the gingerbread man, I've got my piping um, nozzles. They all need a really good clean. I'm gonna work out what I want to keep and what I don't. Clean what I need and keep them in the cute tin. This makes so much more sense. I've got loads of animal cutters that, my kids don't wanna make cookie cut, um, animal cookies anymore. But we had a charity bag through the door the other day, which is the first time in months. It felt like such a leap forward. And I've actually got quite a lot of stuff here that I can donate. So I'm really excited about doing that. I've bagged them all up, ready for donating. And I've now got three really pretty glass dishes that I can wash up and use that I haven't been able to use because they've been sat on the back of my windowsill holding cookie cutters for all these years. Next stage, I'm gonna clean this all off and clean it. I've removed the fruit from the top and I'm just gonna keep it in a bowl. I would ideally, we have a really nice fruit bowl in the living room, but people come into the kitchen for food. So I used to find that having a fruit bowl in the lounge 
it just didn't get eaten. So that makes more sense. I would quite like to keep maybe some cups up here and just have this as a mug display. I originally bought it from Next as a fruit display, but we use it for mugs now. And I'm gonna move off the alcohol, give it a good clean, clean under the toaster, and see what I can clear here. this really cute tray in Target Dollar Spark last year. It's where we keep the honey, we keep the eggs, I keep my cracker tin. Um, it's become really, really sticky. So I'm gonna empty that off. There's even a battery on there. I don't know where that got there. Um, I'm gonna give it a good clean. Look how disgusting that is. We've got honey, we've got crumbs, dog hair. It's gross. It's currently half four. I've been doing this for an hour and three quarters, but I have had lots of stoppages. Holly came in from um, downstairs and she made lunch, so I stopped and chatted with her. Aid's been in here going through some boxes, so we stopped and chatted. Louis just come home from work, so we've been chatting, so I haven't been working solid. But I have to say, not once have I stopped and thought, why am I doing this? I have enjoyed it, really, really enjoyed it. And I've been really motivated the whole way through. And in fact, it's motivated me to want to do other areas in the kitchen as well. So I'm really glad I started this. Another thing I wanted to say, we've been talking about painting our kitchen cupboards. I originally, when I had the kitchen designed, I wanted white cupboards and a dark surface, dark wood surface. And I was recommended not to by the kitchen company I went with. I've always regretted it and we've been talking i don't want to pay to have a new kitchen sorry i have a noisy teenager in the house um who likes talking in different accents we've been talking i don't want to pay to get the kitchen redone at the moment because we keep talking about having it knocked through and things like that but we've been talking about painting the kitchen cupboards let me know if you've ever painted your kitchen cupboards and if so if you did it yourself and what products you use. I'm now cleaning by the microwave. I found all this paperwork stuffed down the side by the chopping boards that I didn't realize was there. So I'm now gonna go through this. This, by the way, is where we keep a load of our mugs. We do have a thing for mugs. We love collecting them. We've got like Disney ones and lots of them have sentimental meanings and special memories attached. I would love to know how do you keep your mugs, or are you a bit of a mug fanatic like us? How do you keep your mugs? Keep them safe? Do you display them? Let me know what you do with them. Unfortunately, these are just a bit too wide for the Starbucks We Are Here mugs, so they can't be displayed there. So that's why we would like a big shelf at the top to show them. Which is why right now the ones that we use live on here. And we have a load of them in here as well because it just feels safe. We've got the larger ones that don't fit as well. These are our It's a Small World mugs. But these are our everyday ones that we use on a regular basis. But let me know how you keep yours. Do you have a special shelf? Do you have a special wall or rack? Let me know how you keep your Starbucks mugs. This is now a huge improvement. Doesn't that look better? Um, I do need to clean up here. I need to clean the floor got the tripod there and give this place a bit of a clean and decide on what we're donating and what's going in the bin. I've just cleaned the bin, cleaned the wall there and I'm now going to clean the back door because we haven't used it for so long. It's really dusty and really really dirty. See what I mean? That is proper thick. Really really needs a good clean and the kitchen area is done it looks so much better everything is clean i've got poppy's food and toys now in that basket bins cleaned walls are cleaned aid got oh i've just seen a cobweb he got all the way to the top for me he's cleaned all the door this area is clean i've cleaned the outside of the washing machine and the tumble dryer the drawers were already organized anyway so that was fine and this one is so much tidy. I've ended up putting some ceramic bowls there and the cookie cutters there. They may well get changed when we sort our other cupboards out. 
but for now that's fine and everything is organized i've got all the laundry detergents i've got other cleaning like um descaling that kind of thing i've got bin bags at the back there poppy's food poppy's shampoo bath and body works and mugs and this area now just looks so much cleaner i've popped some more starbucks mugs in there to free up space in the cupboard and this looks so much better as well i've got vitamins on the back and chopping boards and this cupboard really really needs doing all my plastics that will be in another video and this is all the donate pile here the alcohol has gone in another cupboard and i feel so much happier it did take a long time but not quite as long as i expected and considering i had all the interruptions as well but i'm so so pleased i no longer feel ashamed of this area it feels so much better let me know if you've got an area in your house that you've been putting off and you know that you'll be feeling so much better if you clean and reorganize it and let me know about the kitchen cupboards as well have you ever painted your units i'd love to know thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed my clean tidy and organized video and i will see you in the next one take care bye